was his ideal preparation for marriage. Uh, and and uh, I was a bit of a disaster at that. Uh, she's still with me. You'll be delighted to hear after 55 years. But it hasn't been all, all beer and skittles. Um, but um, I would have loved to have written that book about my mother. I have to say that. I, I would have been so proud if I could have written about her the way David has written about her. And I know I'm going on forever, but like when you get guys like me and you decide you want them to stand up in front of a crowd, you're not going to stop at all. <laughs> you know, not, there's just no way he's going to stop. So it's a history. It's, it's, it's a love affair. It's... It's, and even in the, that final chapter, he drops a bit of a bombshell. So even the bombshell is there. So you've got it all. This is, this is a super read. I have to confess, it's a read we didn't expect. Uh, and it's pretty special. But I don't, the only thing he hasn't given full credit to is all us poor Jews down in Jewtown. <laughs> And, and But what I discovered amazingly was um, his, his mother's mother lived in Hibernian buildings and she lived in number 92. My grandmother lived in number 88, just four doors down. And, and because they were back to back, um, I was in number 79, so it was almost back to back with her, so that was a, a great resonance for me as well. This is pretty special. I applaud him. What David has done is tremendous and it deserves the widest possible audience. I commend it to you.